an Austrian university in Pakistan? Pak Austria. What? How do you pronounce that name? We can't pro pronounce it. <laughs> no, you should try. <laughs> what? Pak Austria, Pak Chole. Good. You pass me. Left one. Oh, no, can I pick that one? Pak Austria, Pak Chole. Pak Austria, Pak Chole. Pak Austria, Pak Chole Institute of Applied Sciences. Pak Chole. Pak Chole Farnas. Pushula? What? Pushula Pernis? 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 I'm here at the Park Austria University in Pakistan with my friend Saud. Yeah. We're showing him how And another friend. Saud? And he's I was on my way back to Islamabad <laughs> from a trip to the north. And yeah, now I'm in the and this university. Fachhochschule. Surprised seeing something written in German in Pakistan, I stopped by and was received with the greatest hospitality I could think of. Okay, so I'm allowed to stay here. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The director who also speaks German. <laughs> yeah. He arranged something for me. All thanks and to. Uh, thanks to Saud too? <laughs> not me. Not Rana. Yes, and also thanks to Saad and Saad Rana. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah, you so much, guys. Oh, yeah. it's such time. And it's such a beautiful university. This is Pakistani hospitality. <laughs> like from here you can see the view. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the university, like what are those buildings there, for example? Okay, um, so this is the medical and dental college, right? And uh, besides the medical and dental college, you have the technology park, mm. where uh, multiple companies from Pakistan and China are relocated. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have Rapid Dev here, and then we have uh, some of the startups uh, from Pakistan, actually. Also in this uh, building? Uh, in the other building. That's oh, called okay. C1 and that's C2. Okay, okay. And then you have the foreign faculty uh, suits or lodges. And uh, then you have the library and the STC. STC is basically the student teacher center. Week. So you see, all these buildings are uh, interconnected. They are like mm. German model, you can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are interconnected. Mm. How do you know that it's like this in Germany? Yeah, uh, have you been they to have Germany? told us and we have uh, like uh, video. We have seen the architect of the universities over in, in Germany, in China also. <laughs> uh, he is a lab engineer. Yeah, yeah, so he came here. Uh, he is our Omar Bhai, our lab engineer of physics. And what? And I am Saad. And you, you should uh, take the whole video. Hmm. What is this here? Yeah, this is a machinery you can see. <laughs> like very modern equipment. Doesn't look like Pakistan. Yeah. Almost looks like Austria or Germany. Yeah, yeah it's a Germany. It's a, it's a part time Europe. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I can confirm that. It's like yeah, part of Europe. That's my guy. <laughs> okay. Very modern laboratory. So what do we have here? So we have this interface. 
so we through which we will select our model like it will print a skin patch like this in form of this then these are different tools tool one two 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 three we will set different parameters for the different tools this is the pressure that how much the pressure is required for the flow of specific bio ink and these are the bio inks that we use in that cartridges so in case I burn my skin for example you can like mm -hmm. replace it with this machine so you can put this patch or scaffold on your skin mm. to heal your wound this is the knob for the calibration mm. Yeah, this one? You can use it. <laughs> so can you make one for me? Yeah, this one. Sure. <laughs> This is our oh, open gym. Yeah, mm, nice, I like it. This is our basket yeah, one Can you speak German? Uh, not really. <laughs> so you didn't teach him? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. not yet. I've been to okay, now I just met the director of the university again. I met him yesterday already, now today again. And now it's the first time that I even met the rector of the university. It's such an honor to thank everyone introduced to me. So he's the rector of the university. So like, can you introduce yourself? And, and I have one second question. Um, so, why do you think should international students um, come to the Park Austria University? Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Mohammed Bujahid. I'm a director of this institute called the Park Austria for Hochschule, Institute of Applied Sciences and Technology. Um, see, the institute that we have established here is a completely different model compared to what we already have in Pakistan. Mm. Um, the universities, traditional universities in Pakistan, they implement an education system uh, which is also a traditional one. And there we, we thought that there is a huge gap between 
what we produce in those universities mm -hmm. as graduates and the requirements of the country mm -hmm. in terms of industrial needs. And that's the gap we wanted to bridge. And that's mm -hmm. why we brought this Foch Hochschule model from Europe. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's one of the unique aspects that we have over here. Um, now, the environment that we are creating within our campus, uh, that's also unique in the sense that we have international partners uh, from Austria, and uh, more recently, we are also interacting with German universities uh, and universities from China. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the aspects that we are, we are making it as an international university mm -hmm. where people can come from other countries, especially Europe, mm -hmm. as well as our students can actually go and study over there mm -hmm. and, and have joint degrees like dual degrees, uh, double degrees, and so on. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons why we have made this institution um, a model where everybody can come from overseas and study over here as well. Mm. So do you have any international students here already or like are any international students planning to enroll in this university? Yes, we already have some students. Um, uh, we have 40 students from Sri Lanka studying, oh, wow. studying over here. Mm. There are also a few students from Afghanistan. Mm. And uh, we are also expecting uh, um, a couple of students coming from Austria in the next oh. semester. Oh, well. Yeah, in fall. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's very cool. And probably we are also expecting uh, some students from uh, OIC countries, yeah. Organization of Islamic uh, Countries. So there might be some students coming from these countries as well. From Saudi Arabia, UAE. Saudi Arabia, Yemen, mm. uh, Syria, oh, Iraq, okay. Iran. Yeah. So some students from these countries as well. Okay. I think you have a bright future. <laughs> we are pretty optimistic. Yeah. And very recently, we have we have, uh, we have started. We have signed an MOU with Germany, Technische uh, Hochschule Wurzburg Schweinfurt. Mm. So we are going to offer a program, bachelor program in robotics. In this program, we will be offering the same curricula mm. as being offered in uh, Hochschule uh, Technische Hochschule Wurzburg Schweinfurt. So will it be conducted in German? No, it would be in English. In English. In English, but the same curricula, same mm. set of courses. Student would be, uh, you know, learning one year as a foundation year here. Mm. The rest of the program is similar, exactly the same, which is being offered in Germany. Yeah. So in that way, the program is equivalent to international norms or the to the mm. level uh, at which in Germany being offered. Mm. So that's why it it is, you know, it, it 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 would be interesting for the international students to get the same education mm. of international standard yeah. in Pakistan with an affordable uh, yeah. charges, <laughs> expenses. Genius system, yeah. And now I'm in the biomedical, um, in the department of biomedical sciences, and I'm together with the um, chairman, the head, the man of the <laughs> department here. So, um, I want to ask him a question. So, um, do you, can you tell me a reason like why international students should come to the Park Austria University? Okay, so first of all, welcome to the Department of Biomedical Sciences. Uh, so as uh, he introduced, I am the chairman of the department. And uh, why should, like the question is, why should the international students uh, come? So mm -hmm. what we offer, so we have like within our country, one of the best facility, one of the best labs facilities, uh, which are up. Uh, uh, international standards, uh, not only international, but the technologically or industrially uh, advanced uh, country technology. So we have, uh, and also our faculty, they are well trained. Uh, they have completed uh, their uh, education from uh, the, uh, technologically advanced uh, country, and uh, they are also trained within the Austria. So we have. Like we offer one of the best teaching in the form of uh, well-qualified faculty, one of the best uh, labs and uh, uh, teaching facilities of uh, our labs. As I mentioned, they are well-established, our classroom, they are well-equipped. Uh, so, and also, you have also visited uh, like our university surrounding within our country. So this is also will be a way, uh, one of the best uh, uh, exposure for an international student to visit uh, around our campus and also within our country so they can know 
our country the natural beauty of our country and also they can enjoy the hospitality of the local people so uh, i will to this so opportunity i will invite international student to visit our country and also visit our institute yeah so please come to the park west university i can just confirm what you said because like yeah there are like really good facilities here they have high end technology and most of the uh, professors here they trained in foreign countries they are very knowledgeable and yes yeah, so absolutely great environment so you so so i am dr mohammad imran and currently i am working as an assistant professor in the department of biomedical sciences mm. and if i can track my like means research area so i am working in the area or domain of neuropharmacology okay. and i did my phd from tehran university of medical sciences mm. i have lots more experience in the field of uh, neuropharmacology much more publications and currently mm. i am supervising different bs ms and phd students okay. in this department <coughs> yeah so that's a brief introduction about me <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> thank um, you and what about you you were talking before already well this is stafeli and i have done three masters as i told you before <laughs> three <laughs> masters <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy on that uh, both at uh, zaid university that is mm. from uh, university of kemar in italy mm. and the third one is from uh, uh, university of shafde sweden and uh, right now i'm doing uh, my phd in uh, tissue engineering and regenerative medicine so you came back to pakistan after visiting all these places after living in sweden you yeah. came to pakistan and do your phd here so what is the reason for that well the reason is <laughs> 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 pakistan i studied before that the main reason uh, i came here because of my parents mm. and also i got some knowledge over there and i want to get give some benefit to pakistani community mm. so right now i'm trying to uh, i mean uh, tell all those stories to these young students and uh, mm -hmm. we are trying to put some effort and uh, try to make it better this beautiful <laughs> And I think the other reason is because Pakistan's in Nepal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>